Hey gamers, what's up? So I thought I'd do a quick video and I just want to talk about eBay scammers. There's no better way to start this off than getting directly to the point. I recently came across an auction that really kind of bothered me and I was looking at it and it's an auction for a PlayStation 4 controller and box. It's just the box and just the controller and even in the description it says the controller is broken and the listing is for $255 and when you get to looking the way it's listed the the auction title itself PlayStation 4 500 gigabyte bundle you know and then at the very end it says box only kind of a long title with box only at the end then in the item description you know it also reads C description and it talks about the broken controller and the box is torn up and it's just for the controller and box only. And I, I went ahead and dropped this guy a line. Now this guy is, uh, I, I believe it's pronounced Big Meech 44, I don't know. And I'm, I'm centering on this auction because it's current and it's something I just came across. But this isn't the only one I've seen like this. I've seen auctions like this. And I feel like it's worth saying, sometimes we just gotta really look at these auctions and look at the descriptions. Because if someone buys this auction thinking that it's got a PS4 in it, they're gonna be really disappointed. And why would they think it? It says box only right in the title, but when you look at the pictures, all the pictures are of the box and controller and console. He included the console as a centerpiece in every picture. And I mean, sure, th th those of us who are in the know or those of us who pay a lot of attention will say, okay, well, obviously, you know, the, the console is not included, but someone in a hurry or someone's mother or someone's grandmother or someone who doesn't use eBay and maybe isn't paying as much attention as they should might just buy that thinking, oh, I'm getting my kid or my grandkid a console or maybe I'm, you know, I don't have a lot of money and I found this console at a pretty good price, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it and not really think about it or not really completely read everything they should have. And everyone's guilty of that at some point or another. So I don't feel like it's unfair to say that it's really a scam and a terrible way to list something and hoping that you know someone just won't read your auction completely or they'll just be misled by it or you know through maybe a fault of their own they overlook that and get ripped off in the end so I dropped the guy a line and I'm gonna read it to you here I said if this auction is only for the controller and box why is there a PS4 console in each of the pictures Attempting to scam someone into buying a torn up box and broken controller for $255 by making them think the console is included is pretty sleazy. Now I stand by that statement and I will continue to stand by that statement. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying it. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to be straight up with this guy and call him out. So he responded to me. That is your opinion. Because if you read the title and seen the description says box and controller only never once did it mention a console, nor does the title so you can think what you think just because you see something in the picture that S not mentioned of it was a Xbox one in the picture. Would you be thinking you was that? No. So what's the difference? Nothing. If you have common sense and read, you wouldn't you wouldn't T have any problems that why it says read description thank you now I think you get the idea of what he's trying to say there as poorly as it's written but this is the intellect of a person who tries to run a scam like this and my recent response was you and I both know there's no way a broken controller and a torn up box is worth $255 I own and operate a retail video game outlet I have for the last 16 years what you're selling is barely worth 10% of that. That's a fact. And of course, no one would think a Xbox is included. The auction says PlayStation 4, and there's a PlayStation 4 in the pictures. There was no good reason at all to include the console in your pictures. You want to make excuses for what you're trying to do? Go ahead. Whatever helps you sleep at night. But it's a lame attempt. We both know, as does everyone who's sharing it online right now, that you're posting it in the hopes that some poor eBayer will not notice and buy it. It's cheap and sickening. And don't worry, I was kind enough to share the new listing. Hopefully, those of us who have already reported you will be rewarded with your auction being pulled down. But until then, I'm glad to keep sharing it and telling people to look out for dishonest auctions on eBay. Have a wonderful day. Muzz. Now, you would think that would be the end of it, but he responded again. So I'm going to go ahead and read that to you as well. 
What you don't understand is that I don need to sell this if no one buys it. I'm just, by the way, I take these pauses because there's no punctuation, there are no periods. So it's really weird to read sometimes. So let me continue. What you don't understand is that I don need to sell this if no one buys it. I'm just as fine as if I sell the shit for $20. And another thing is that you must be the dumbest eBay video game purchaser because you aren't even in the right category to get a console, it's in accessories. Other things jackass, nor was a console mentioned. So I still don't understand why you think you would get. And if you don't think it's worth that much to you, shut the fuck up and keep it moving. I wouldn't come into your store and question your prices if I don't like them. I'll leave and go somewhere else, so don't disrespect me and tell me what I have to sell my shit for. I can sell it for whatever the fuck I want to sell it for just like you can. Well, look, no one's debating that anyone can sell anything for anything they want. But I think a lot of times people get what they have the right to do and what is right to do. Very confused. Don't you? So I kind of covered that in my response. Well, someone is on the defensive. As a rule, we all know people of low class will normally resort to cursing and insults when they have no real defense or are intellectually incapable of offering a logical or intelligent response. You have shown a fine example of that. You say you don't need the money, but then you list $20 worth of stuff for $255. It seems that your actions contradict your words. In fact, I'd say someone attempting to scam people as you are, or just sell worthless stuff for a ridiculously high price, is desperately in need of money. If you don't need the money, maybe you should try a no-reserve auction starting at a penny and see where it goes. The title of the auction says PlayStation 4 and all of your pictures included as a centerpiece. You specifically put it in all the pictures as if it were part of the auction. Don't say otherwise, we both know it's true. So does everyone else who knows what you're up to. Categories are irrelevant. The auction comes up under a basic PlayStation 4 search regardless. Yeah, you can list your torn up box and broken controller for whatever you like. No one is arguing that. But when your real motive is to attempt to scam someone who isn't paying proper attention or doesn't understand eBay, then it's just plain disgusting. For the record, regarding your immoral and unethical attempt here to bilk someone out of their hard earned money, I'll tell you whatever I like. The First Amendment assures me that privilege. Lastly, feel free to come to my store and look at the prices. You get a fine example of proper business ethics. For example, as a rule, I don't put things together that are sold separately to give my shoppers the impression that they're included together. And you won't see me selling broken controllers in empty boxes for $255. Have a fantastic day, Muzz. And at this point, if you're thinking, oh, Muzz, you're being unfair, come on, the guy, maybe he's just, you know, he's listing it right, he's not trying to get over on anyone, stop right there. He's done it before. Take a look back at this guy's feedback. Guy bought for 250 bucks a PS4 Black Ops bundle box, just the box. And you can look right there, and the guy put, you know, my eight year old ordered this by accident, blah, blah, blah. But we know the guy ordered it and was like, oh man, what did I just do for 250 bucks? But then you look at the pictures in the auction, and they're all, they got a PS4 right in them, just as a centerpiece right there. Oh, that's what I'm getting with a controller. In this auction, the, the controller wasn't even included, it was just the box. This guy got just a box. He didn't even get a controller with it. But in every picture, there's the box, and then there's the PS4 and the controller. In the main image, it's just a close-up picture of the box itself. So, I mean, obviously this guy's trying to trick someone. Obviously, it's shady and it's wrong. And no matter how much you try to justify what the guy's doing or whatever, it, you know it's wrong. He's putting the picture of the console in the pictures to, to make it seem like it's included in the auction. And then he hits me back with like, well, if there's a P an Xbox in there, you wouldn't think the Xbox was with it. No, because it's not an Xbox auction. You know, if I take a picture of an item and you know, my TV is in the background, my TV's not included in it, you wouldn't think that, you're not stupid. But if it's a PS4 box and a PS4 with a PS4 controller, yeah, it, it could be real easy to be led to believe that that's all part of one auction. Now, some of you might look at this and say, dude, this is none of your business. You shouldn't even be involved. What's wrong with you? And okay, maybe you're partly right, but I don't know, as a gamer, as a collector, not, not even as a retailer so much, but as someone who's into video games, who buys games and has been on eBay to buy things before, if I got tricked into buying something, I'd be pretty upset. And we've seen the articles in the past. Stuff like this happens, and it's just worth mentioning that it's something we should all look out for because 
there there is always that person who's trying to get over on the system who's trying to make a buck off of someone else's you know I'll, I'll say ignorance but you know there's no crime in being ignorant and there's no crime in not understanding sometimes how eBay works or overlooking something you shouldn't have to pay such a penalty especially a $255 penalty for that so this is just my way of getting a message out there and showing everyone an auction like this so they can maybe keep it in the back of their heads or even teach their family members. You know, we all have a mom who shops on eBay or something every now and then, and maybe she should know about this. Show her the video, you know, or just tell her yourself. Always look out, always read the full description, always read the full title, and make sure you know exactly what you're getting. And if you have questions, always send a question to the, the seller so you know you're getting exactly what you need. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. So there's a link to the auction in the uh, description here. I guess as long as the auction is active the link will be as well and you can check it out for yourself and see what you think and I, I encourage you all to report people like this I think eBay should have just a special report button just for people who try to scam like this but maybe that's something that'll happen someday till then we can just spread the word and help educate our fellow gamers and our family members and everyone else we can so that's it for now I'm out of here I will talk to you all soon bye And again, remember, check the description down there. I got links. I got links to the auction. I got a link to the old auction. And I got a link to his seller page. And you make sure everyone knows about him and people like him if you ever see one. Because that ain't right. And it's you know something we as gamers, as a community, have to look out for for one another as well as ourselves.